fucking hit man and as you can see we we got a lot going on all right i'm just gonna play the animations and then we'll talk about what these guys do but so far <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot we have dokkan fest essentially what it is dokkan fest super trunks as you see he starts out as super saiyan oh my gosh the ponytail in super saiyan form finally bro good animations for this moment we've been asking for this I want to say since like STR Super Vegeta, right? But we're getting Dokkan Fest Super Trunks. He is tech. Uh, he's getting. He's coming with that banner unit, Gohan. You guys saw to start off the video. That's not the same. It's not some sort of exchange unit. But they, of course, I'm sure they're going to be very important for one another. So we'll see what they're capable of. And then they took that old animation from the STR exchange unit. Oh my gosh, man! It's been forever. So he does have a transformation. I'm assuming. Well, this has to be his active skill, right? You guys know I'm real nervous about playing the sounds loud, if at all. So I don't really want to play it at all if I don't have to. But let's uh, let's look into what this guy does. We have the EZA for physical Super Saiyan Vegeta, like the transforming one. He uh, like finally is awakening. He's on so many teams. So I'm hoping he's gonna be an extraordinarily powerful defensive unit to make sure make sure that stacking has its viability. But yes, yeah, so JP has released Trunks. Matter of fact, let's look at his stats before anything else. So his HP is pretty low. I mean, I don't really care for the HP, but his HP is definitely low for a Dokkan Fest TUR. His attack stat, I mean, damn. His attack stat without any equips is going to be, what, right below, like, 19.5k or something like that? Am I tripping? Because he's up to, yeah, he's at, like, 19.5. Damn. All right, that's good. That's very good. He's on a whole bunch of categories. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's see what he does. Let's get into his de details. Thank you so much to Minato. Minato always does his best to make sure we have some sort of translation, to make sure we have some sort of, uh, I don't know, like some sort of understanding of what's going on, concise explanations. We appreciate that. So, like I said, he starts out as Super Saiyan with the ponytail. His arts are... <laughs> It's the backgrounds, bro. Like, come on, man. I don't like his arts. I don't like his arts. His arts are mid. Oh, my gosh, bro. Even the poses are mid. Anyway, Super Saiyan Trunks, Leader Skill, Mastered Evolution, or Android slash Cell Saga will get three key. Uh, stats 170%. The 30% will go to Rapid Growth or Warriors Raised on Earth. Uh, okay. His 12 key super will great. Well, no, it's just a normal. It's a normal raising of attack and defense for the one turn. Of course, he does immense damage to the enemy. His passive skill, he gets two key attack and defense 150%. He will get an additional attack and defense 100% with an additional that has a 70% chance to be a super and a high chance to guard all attacks when there are three or more android slash cell saga category allies on the team um i already don't like this guy i mean there's a lot of easy a's on the way but i i don't like this guy already i hate like that just time gosh man shout out joe saying because he said last night i was streaming and then my freaking I, I had to cut the stream short my my router went out but uh he said I can't wait until we get these units because it's gonna be a unit that either is really really like Unhype, or they're gonna have some sort of like they're gonna age really fast because of these stupid niche abilities that they they give these units. And Trunks seems to be like the unit. He, what he was referring to the type of unit he was referring to the unit that comes out before the download celebration, so that people will summon. But then that unit is usually irrelevant, like right after or like a little bit after the download celebration. For example, Tech Pan. You could definitely argue that she lost as soon as she lost her slot on viability on most of her teams she just lost a lot of relevance people try to defend her i don't really care but you know for a fact that she's lost a lot of her usefulness and then the other one being str super vegeta there's a couple of units like that that just they just come out right before the hype and they just die they just die out gosh man this is so bad three or more android slash cell saga allies Plus an additional 70% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Oh my gosh. All of that is based on the Cell Saga allies. I thought there was a period right here after that attack and defense. 
Oh, none of that is gay. Oh, my gosh. I thought this after this attack and defense 100%. In my head, I just think that's happening because the super attack line is right under. I'm thinking that happens upon super attack. Bro, that's not even a fact. Like, that's all based on the allies? Sure. Plus an additional attack and defense 70% when performing a super attack. Attacks are super effective against all types when, yeah, when there's a cell, right? Like, who, who gives a... Active skill requirements can be activated when HP is 60% or more starting from turn 3. That's simple. Like I'm not tripping over that. It will greatly raise attack, cause ultimate damage to the enemy, and disables an enemy action. You guys know me. I love attack breaking. So sure, I'll take it. Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prepare for Battle, Soul vs. Soul, and Fierce Battle. <sighs> All right. Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Full Power Time Travelers, Vegeta Family, Super Saiyans, Cell Saga, Master Bond, Disci Master Disciple Bond, Rapid Growth Saviors, Connected Hope. Connected Hope could use that. Heavenly Events could use that. Mastered Evolution can use that. Entrusted Will can use that. Transformation Boost, Power Beyond Super Saiyan, and Earthbred Fighters. Let me just see what this Super Trunks does before I get mad, bro. Let me just see this. All right, Super Trunks, his transformation require. Oh, wait, hold up. Let me look at, so he forces himself to go to Super Trunks, which is fine. But then he, the active skill is when he's a Super Saiyan. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me reread this one more time. The condition... Okay, so you only have a couple of turns to use that Trunks active skill. That's very bizarre. But yeah, and Minato is trying to make sure he explains this. But he, he this is the corrected version, right? He says that, of course, the three Cell Saga allies does not include himself. I hate that. All right. Last update, the post-transformation active is a massive raise for the turn instead of a great raise. Okay, I'll make sure I read that over. His transformation requirements start at the next turn after he has been hit five or more times or from the fifth turn of battle when there is an enemy whose name includes Cell. Of course, that excludes Cell Jr., which is dumb, by the way. I never understood why they go out their way to do that. 12 key super attack, his only super attack, raises attack and defense for the turn, performs a guaranteed critical hit. See, see, this guy was definitely meant to come out with Super Vegeta in a way, like the thought of him came around with Super Vegeta. But of course, Super Vegeta was so long ago now. It's crazy to think about. He gets four key, 300% attack and defense, performs a guaranteed additional super, and guards all attacks for three turns from the first appearance. He gets an additional attack and defense 200%, the more HP, the greater the stats boost, and then gets another attack and defense 100% when he super attacks. He guaranteed stuns the enemy upon landing said super attack, which is pointless at that point in the fight, but whatever. The active skill can be initiated once HP is 60% or above. When there is an enemy whose name includes Cell, once only, it will massively raise attack. That's what Minato was referring to. Cause ultimate damage, delay all target enemy's attacks by one turn, and he will perform critical hits within the same turn that it's activated. Like, that's, like, okay. I mean, that's dumb because his super attack does that. Why didn't you give him an attack buff? I, I know technically it's not going to be active, but if that's the case... What you should have done is massively raise his 12 key super attack. Well, I suppose the active skill would only last one turn. You know what? Yeah, you know what they should have done. His active skill should have gave him guaranteed crits for the rest of the fight. His super attack should have massively raised his attack for like one or three turns. Raised his defense normally if you really think it's that deep. And then, yeah, they, uh, the immense damage, and he still would have had critical hits by the time he super attacked. That's a very, this is a very, I don't like this unit. Uh, I, I was hyped for Super Trunks to come out. This is way late into the fight. These are weird. Listen, I'm not really tripping about the active skill super attack thing. I get that they wanted the active skill to crit too, but I don't like the way he's built. Like You gotta wait forever for Super Trunks is crazy. Don't get me wrong. Super Trunks is fire. 
But the stun is stupid, and his Super Saiyan form being stuck to that team, bro. That you don't understand. I think y'all have forgotten. If you guys are disagreeing with me, which I don't even think a lot of you guys are, you guys have not forgotten how bad that team looks right now. Even with the buffs that are incoming or with these easy A's in this banner unit, he looks very mediocre. I don't I don't like this at all. Ling said it's Golden Warrior. Well, it doesn't change. Yeah, it doesn't change at all. Okay, there goes Dokkan Fest Super Trunks. I, I'm not in love with him. I'm not in love with him. But whatever, let's look at his numbers. Shout out to Pat. I haven't seen these yet. I just, it was on my homepage. So I was like, why not just pull this up too? And you guys know I'm not a huge APT player, but whatever. I don't care about his attack. You guys can look at that if you want. Matter of fact, let me zoom in. But his defense. So at the start of turn, I'm assuming this is Super Saiyan. Yeah, it is. Without the three Cell Saga allies. Matter of fact, you know what? I want to save this for later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to save this for later. So, appreciate Pat. I'm going to do that. I'm going to save that for another video because this video is already very long. Matter of fact, yeah, this video is dumb long. This is going to be a crazy upload. All right, let's look at this STR Gohan. Let's look at his stats and then we'll look at his passive. Oh, what the hell? Am I tweaking or is his attack... Why is his attack triple his HP stat? Or, uh, the opposite. Why is his HP triple his attack stat? And... Uh, Damn near quintuple his defensive stat. Ugh, he is gonna be... Okay, let me read this first, bro. 12 key, greatly raises attack permanently, supreme damage, 10% HP at recovery at the start of turn, which is fairly rare for a super class unit to just do. 40% HP recovery when your HP is 40% or below. He gets an additional... Or he gets attack and defense 140%. The additional attack and defense 140% will come when he super attacks. Launch a guaranteed additional that has a great chance to become a super when HP is 70 or more at the start of the turn, which is weird because he heals, so why would they do that? He gets an additional one key up to five and 20% defense up to 100% with each attack received. He has to get hit with that level of defense? Are they crazy? Oh... With each two, plus an additional two key defense 30% for every heavenly events or mastered evolution category ally. I don't, I, I'm sure you guys know what his links are, you guys know exactly what his categories looks like, so I don't have to say that. He t terrible. I, well, oh, let me bite my tongue. Let me bite my tongue. I need to see his defense. I don't like his defense looking like this, but he needs to get hit. And then he has HP restriction on that extra super attack. I mean, I would like for him to at least... I mean, let me look at him again. 10% HP, 40% when you're below 40%. Attack defense, 140, 140, when supering. The additional when your HP is above. He's not raising defense on super. The defense comes from him being hit. But his defensive stat is like, even for a banner unit, his defensive stat is so bad. And his HP stat is so high. I've been hearing people more and more like that crowd is getting louder, right? Especially with fights like Omega Shenron coming out. Or, you know, Sin Shenron is still the second hardest fight in the game. The idea of trading out HP, like defense for HP, so that you can have 800k HP, but like, you know, your defense, instead of it being 900k, it's like 780k. Like, I'm just spitting, like, off the top of my head. I don't know what unit that would apply to. That people are willing to take that trade off now more than I've seen in a very long time. It's been, like, five years since I've seen people so, so adamant about trading off defense for HP. It's been a very long time. So it's interesting to think that this guy seems to be an embodiment of that i don't know how you guys feel about it but there goes those two this is a long video i kind of want to split the videos yeah i think i am i usually never have to do this i feel like i gotta split the videos i'm gonna split the video i'm gonna cover these easy a's in another video um i don't yeah yeah this video will literally be 30 minutes if i don't do this okay so i hope you guys enjoyed it is the young king hitman part two is on the way you guys know me i love covering everything so I'm going to be right back. But it is the young kid. I just said that, didn't I? Hitman is off this.